Bruce here again. I'm just going to do a short video on uh, the work I've been doing on the Suzuki F10A cylinder head. And we'll start by uh, we're working on a brand new head, and some of the castings were a bit rough, so I've been busy with the die grinder just showing where I've cleaned the ports up. And if you have a look in here, I'll just get the torch and um, you'll be able to see on the inside here where I've um, where I've cleaned the castings up. That should be a pretty good shot. And ground out around the nose of the, the valve guide. Um, just so it should flow a bit better around the outer edge. And um, also done the exhaust side too. Get a torch that works here. Have a look on the exhaust side. There's the exhaust side there too. They normally have a, most motors have a flat area around the side of the valve guide. And if you can taper that a bit should generate a little bit more power and only a one litre motor will they need everything they can get I guess um, I'll just give you a bit of an idea that's that, that's the bit that I've used on the job and if you come in through the port that's about where you can get at it around through that way if that shows up and if you're very careful you can come in from this way <coughs> and do down around in that area and uh, that over here is much, much the same. You can get so much of it, so much of it in through, in through there. <coughs> Pretty hard to see. And I ran through there. Um, and use different bits. That's the bit. That's the tungsten carbide cutter to do that. And as far as cleaning up the, the inside along there, I normally use a tungsten carbide cutter about that shape to get in there. And then if you're back in the bowl area and on the in on the short side of the turn I normally use a rounded bit like that to shape that part up like like so that's normally the, the easiest way to go about it so you really need about really need about three different tungsten carbide cutters to do that job <coughs> 